Hello world, this is Random Fix and today I'm going to show you how to tell if your vehicle has an oil cooler. So if you're changing the oil yourself and it's asking if you have oil cooler to put in a different amount in. I'm going to show you how to find this. And it could be different on depending on the kind of car you have. But this is a 528i E60 and the oil cooler is right here. It's by the oil filter housing. And this is the same on the the X1, X5, X6, Z4, 320, uh, 428, 328, 528. So it's a pretty common thing on here. And some of the 335s, they have them in a different location. I'm going to show you where to find that. But, for example, on this vehicle, they call for more oil when it has an oil cooler like this. Because it's got to fill up this capacity here too. So you want to pay extra attention to this. When you're doing it and not take a guess, I've actually seen people mislead others by telling them that the oil cooler is right here in the front. And a lot of times that will not be the oil cooler. I just wanted to point that out to you guys. And if you guys have like a 335 for example, what they'll do is on those years, they'll actually go ahead and put it on the in the passenger side. You can sometimes tell that they have an oil cooler by coming down to the passenger side right here and they'll have a like a cutaway right here and that allows it to cool off and so you can visibly actually see the cutaway in here this one does not have it because it's up top but if you're planning on modifying the motor a lot of people look for that and just wanted to point that out to you guys I really hope this video helped you guys out please leave your comments and your questions below and have a great day on a 335 here you go there it is right there even on this 435 you'll find it in the same exact spot and it's right under there that aluminum piece that's running right there there it is let me know if you guys have any comments hit the subscribe button and i really appreciate your continued support